after Miley Cyrus was seriously flirty with Pete Davidson on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, some fans are speculating that Miley might have had a real crush on Pete and they might even be seeing each other. Miley and Pete were just on The Tonight Show promoting their upcoming New Year's Eve special on NBC called Miley's New Year's Eve Party that Pete and Miley will be hosting together. The pair will be live from Miami, Florida from 10.30 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. hosting the show. The pair spoke about how they bonded while preparing for the show. Miley even revealed that she took Pete out to a gay bar with her. They also shared that they got matching tattoos the last time they were on SNL together. To remember a sketch they performed, they both got, quote, we babies tattooed on them after the show. Miley still has hers on her foot, while Pete got his lasered off. Then things got hot and heavy while Miley sang a cover of Yvonne Fair's It Should Have Been Me, which is about a woman who's sad to see the love of her life marrying someone else. Before Miley started singing the song, she said, quote, Pete Davidson, this song is for you. When I saw those photos, this is what I played, referencing the photos of Kim with Pete. During her passionate rendition of the song, Miley walked over to Fallon's desk and sat on it while looking into Pete's eyes and draping her legs on his lap. She also took his hat off and put it on herself. At one point in the song, Miley sang, quote, It should have been me in that Lamborghini leaving that nice restaurant. I want to watch a movie in frickin' Staten Island, clearly referencing Pete's most recent outings with Kim Kardashian. Last month, Kim and Pete were seen in LA driving a Lambo while on a dinner date. The pair have also been seen out in Pete's native Staten Island, and he's been showing Kim some of his favorite spots. Pete avoided addressing his new relationship in a recent interview with Seth Meyer. When asked, Pete said, quote, It is true. I do have a show on Tubi coming out. The Tubi. A lot of people are shocked that I could get on a show like Tubi, but it's a real thing. Sources have revealed that Kim and Pete are dating, and they've been seen out holding hands on a number of occasions. A source told ET that, quote, Kim and Pete are dating and having a great time together. Adding, quote, Pete is a romantic and goes out of his way to make Kim feel special. Kim thinks Pete is hysterical and he's constantly making her laugh, but they also have been connecting on a deeper level. So that's all for the story. Let me know your thoughts below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and we'll catch you in the next one.